That's right, folks. It is that time again. It's time for the Indie Corner. My name is Captain Amano. Today is Friday, April 20th, and I think for a few people out there, you know what that means. So uh, hopefully you're not too out of it <laughs> watching the uh, stream today. Uh, we are coming to you live a little bit earlier uh, than usual, only because... Uh, I'm having a little, well, there's a little bit of rain going on, which might turn into some thunderstorms, and uh, my house is horrible with the electricity, so it's very possible that I could be losing um, losing power at any time, so I just wanted to do a little early just to make sure that the actual show got through. Uh, to make up for it, though, what I am going to be doing is, uh, because this weekend uh, the Diablo 3 beta goes live for everybody, uh, I am going to stream a little bit. Um, about maybe an hour, maybe two uh, later on, um, probably when the show normally would be taking place, so seven o'clock Eastern Standard Time, uh, right around in there. Uh, I do have a couple little errands and things I got to get done first, so uh, anytime between seven, seven thirty uh, Eastern Standard Time, that's that's when that's going to be going on. Second thing, uh, I want to make a redaction, redact, redaction. I want to. <laughs> Change what I said about Fez uh, last week. I, I had said that I didn't understand exactly why it got the um, grand prize at the IGFs. I didn't really get it. It was just, to me at the time, a very basic um, concept of a game that, that pretty much has been done before. Uh, the more you, de you delve into it, and, it's, and you know there's been plenty of news stories about it, uh, there's a lot more to Fez than just twirling the world around and collecting cubes. In fact... Uh, from what I understand, I haven't had a chance to really get into it. Um, that is pretty menial uh, work to, to get. I mean, you get all 32 cubes, and then the game really opens up, and everything starts to change. There's a whole coding system in there where you know you kind of got to take some notes and, and realize what's going on. So that it actually sounds pretty interesting. Um, so obviously, there was some more in there that uh, that I that I didn't see initially. So I apologize for. Uh, Kind of giving Fez a bad a bad rap there. Third thing, um, I had something else, but I can't remember what it is. So, without further ado, we are now three minutes in. I think that's good enough of an intro to go ahead and check out today's game, which is Trials Evolution. Um, oh, that's what it was, but I'll keep it for the end. Um, so, Trials Evolution is what we're going to be taking a look at today. It's actually the sequel to Trials HD, which came out uh, last year. Maybe I can't exact. I don't exactly recall. Uh, came out this week. In fact, just a couple of days ago. Uh, Xbox Live Arcade, and it's essentially just a. Uh, it's a. It's a time trial uh, with some obstacles and things. It has some physics going on with it. It's just really addictive and it's really fun. And um, they made a sequel to it. And to me, this is exactly how a sequel should be done. I don't have too many complaints about it. Uh, it's just, I mean, if you if you played Trials HD before, this is you're gonna be feel right at home. There's enough improvements that, that happen with the with the system uh, that you'll that you'll enjoy it. It's not just the same old thing. Um, at its base, you know, you're still racing against other people. You're racing against time to try to get the uh, try to get the gold medals. And there's so many games and things like that. But for the most part, uh, the the improvements that they've made is exactly what you want to see in a sequel. It's just enough to make the game more interesting again and. Just as frustrating uh, as you get further on in the game, and just as fun trying to race against your friends and things like that. So, let's go ahead, get that started. Let me grab my handy dandy awesome headphones here. And we'll pop over to the game. Click. And feel free to let me know in the chat if there's anything wrong with the sound or uh, anything like that. Uh, I, I do have another screen over here, so I am watching the chat pretty frequently. Go ahead and fire oh, this thing up. Did you say Monday night show? This looks like a great game. You mind if I give it a shot? Shut up, sucker! It's time to begin. Light the hot metal of fire and sin. We're we'll burning in the pipes. Yep. That's that's the intro. <laughs> okay. Let's... But yeah, this is um a game uh by Red Links. Um, it's on Xbox Live, like I said, for twelve hundred points. Uh, and like I said, it's uh. It's a game that, that if you if you enjoy very short, almost I don't want to say mini games, but very short, just kind of thing like little races and, and, and try to things against competing against your friends. Uh, this is definitely definitely a game to check out. 
Um, some of the improvements that they've made is adding in a track editor, which we'll take a look at later. Some multiplayer, which we may or may not take a look at. Uh, I don't. I kind of don't want to uh, make a fool of myself playing against other people. I'd rather just jump right into the single player. I'm about uh, two hours in right now. Uh, not exactly. Uh, I don't have everything unlocked here. Uh, we got a B license test. We'll just go ahead and do this real quick. And so, yeah, like I said, the game, uh, the, the, you're essentially just racing, um, racing against time. You're on a, a, a dirt bike, and there's uh, everything's with momentum, with physics and things like that. So you can lean, you can uh, lean forward, lean back, and everything will affect exactly how the bike handles and how um, you approach the obstacles. So uh, for this particular thing, this is just teaching you something that they didn't really teach in the first one. Uh, they didn't tell you exactly how to handle the uh, certain certain obstacles, and that was uh, I don't want to say a, a complaint of the first one, but um, some people did have a, had some difficulty trying to figure it out. So these uh, with the license tests allow you to kind of get an idea of what you need to do. So careful start with forward lean and then a minimal amount of uh, right trigger, which means the accelerator. So we'll just try this up here. Whoop. Okay. There we go. Uh, the bunny hop. Bunny hop two. And that didn't work. Okay, hold on. There we go. So yeah, um uh, everything whoops. Uh, like I said, everything with this game is, is physics-based, so, uh, as you saw right there, there's a seesaw. Um, so that actually, you have to think about hitting, uh, hitting the seesaw at the right spot to get the angle up to be able to make the jump. It's just things like that, uh, that make the game kind of a little interesting. It's not, it's not just kind of like a sight bike where you're, where you're just, uh, going as fast as you can every time. There's definitely some touch, uh, some touch to the game. So we'll go ahead and that opens up the next little bit here. Um, obviously these are all things that I haven't done, so it should turn out to be pretty, pretty, pretty ridiculous. Um, as you can see, you do, you do unlock uh, more bikes as you go on, and as you unlock bikes, you can use them uh, wherever. So if you get some of your friends that, uh, as we'll see here in a second, uh, your, the game takes your friends list and makes them all ghosts, well not ghosts, but your dots. Um, and so just to give you an idea of where you rank with uh, with your friends. And as you can see, I'm not doing very well at all. Um, but yeah, it's a nice little addition. Uh, they had before uh, just uh, basically a bar at the top. Where you could kind of guess where your where your friends are. Oh god, I'm doing horrible. Where you can you, you can kind of see where your friends are going, um, but they never gave you the sense of exactly the, the the path that your friends were taking. And so oh, uh, so it was a little difficult to you know if you were trying to figure out a certain area of the of the uh, level, then. You know, you, you did you just you really didn't know exactly how your friends were doing it. Um, but with this, where you have the dots, you can see where they're going. You can see what exactly. I don't want to say exactly, but you can kind of tell. Uh, you can gather a strategy. Um, now, the one thing that does kind of uh, that is kind of bad is the fact that there is no way. There was a way before to actually look at specific people's uh, runs, but with uh, how they have it now. You just you just get the dots and that's it. Uh, let's go ahead and play another round here.
I mean, as you can see, these levels can get pretty ridiculous. Uh, it's, it's a lot of memorization, it's a lot of, you can't really expect to just kind of uh, go through a level right away and be able to uh, do extremely well. Oh god. Oh, oh, and I hit that. Oh, dang it. Okay, so here we go. Oh boy. Can I make it? Nope. Dang it. Um, so yeah, like I said, I have no idea what's coming up next, so right now I'm just, oh crud, oh boy. Somehow I'm still, <laughs> somehow I've still made it, wow. Holy crap. Um, the scope of these levels has gotten uh, quite a bit more... I don't want to say, I don't maybe want to say epic. Um, before they were mostly just kind of, uh, wow, there we go. Oh god, it's still going, oh shoot. Okay, um, they weren't as epic as this, there may have been uh, one or two levels that got really ridiculous with the number of jumps and the falling down, things like that. The perspective on this, uh, on, on the expansion, is insane. You get a, uh, you get more of a view, because uh, in the first game it was mostly warehouse, um, warehouse scenes, and in here you're, you're kind of out, more out in the open. Uh, one of the other neat features that they've done is, uh, they call it, they call it, they call them curved tracks, as if, um, like there are actually actual curves in it, but everything is still, you're still going straight, but the actual perspective will, will curve and it'll turn uh, along with uh, the race, or along with um, the track that you're on. Go ahead and play, play one more, and then we'll start taking a look at uh, some of the other little features here. I was leading all of my friends, and then that happened. Okay, alright. Oh, that didn't work. So, these are definitely, uh... There's new little obstacles that, that happen like that. The, uh, the little jets like that are not, uh... They weren't included in the first one, as far as I can remember. Uh, there's another. There was another er level earlier where the actual uh, you're on an elevator and the thing shot straight up for a, a good couple of seconds. And you had to be able to keep your balance on that. Um, but yeah, so there, there we go. Uh, that's pretty much the the basic game. Um, you know, it's just levels like that, and they get progressively harder and harder, um, almost maddeningly so. Uh, if you, if you like your games like Super Meat Boy, things like that, like games that uh, get just frustratingly difficult in a good way, uh, if you can deal with that, then, then Trials HD is exactly the type of game that you're looking for, because by the time you get you get up to these last couple of uh, levels, I'm sure they're just they're just extremely frustrating, but it's the, the sense of accomplishment that you get when you actually finish a level, which is amazing. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll just check out some skill games. I actually, obviously, have not seen any of these. Uh, Icarus, are you ready to fly? Are you ready for human evolution? Alright, we'll start with gas problem and just see what happens here. And so, these, uh... Uh... These mini-games are a great little addition. Oh, boy. Oh, I get it. So... Um, so the mini games are a nice little way of breaking up the the way the game the, the typical stuff in the game. 
because obviously in this one it's about not using the accelerator um, to try to conserve the fuel, uh, the fuel that's over there on the uh, on the left. So hopefully we can just get a little bit of speed going there. Let's see what happens when we. Oh God! Oh boy! Ah. This. I can I can do better than that. There we go. Oh boy. Oh, I still got it. There we go. Already passing people. I love it. There we go. Oh no! Oh no, I didn't stop. Oh shoot! And that's where I will stop. Okay. So, uh, that's one. And like I said, the leaderboards with your friends are what is the most frustrating because I'm now fifth out of all of my friends that are playing this game. And uh, I will more than likely spend I, I have spent over an hour uh, trying to beat trying to beat times in the in the original one so okay let's see here spear okay we'll just take a look at one of these here the editor allows you to make just roll the ball to the goal okay what what is this? Okay, oh boy. Is that a switch? I thought that was a switch. It wasn't. Okay. Oh, I just. Yeah! So, this is actually kind of interesting. Um, they had a spear. Oh no, I went too far. They had a spear level in the first one as well, but it was, um, you were actually using the bike to move the spear. So, this is more along the lines of Marvel Madness, and, uh, that's, I like that. That's a pretty good addition there. Uh, and we'll get one more, one more, uh, one more thing here. Uh, he breaks her out and your throttle is stuck on. How long can you last? Okay. This is, should be pretty good for me because this is usually how I play the game is just just uh, flooring it and then hoping I get through the level. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, there he goes. Oh, boy. Nope. Nope. There we go. Yeah. Oh, that'll do it. Okay, I got one more try. <laughs> and that's the that that is the thing with this game is that you will definitely once you get the hang of uh, exactly everything that's going on, you get this feeling of you know oh I can do I can do better than that. I can definitely get I can shave off a little bit. Oh, that was horrible. One more time. <laughs> uh, but you definitely get the it, it does a good job of. of giving you the sense of, um, you know, the the ability to be able to do a little bit more or go a little bit farther or, or, or move it a little bit faster. Um, and that's something that I did, I, I have enjoyed. Usually on these games, if I, whoa, that's not going to make it. Okay. Um, usually what happens on some of these games is that uh, it seems like the game is almost out to, to just beat you. Um, more more so than your uh, than it's your skill and trials is a very good job an extremely good job of being able to just hold that carrot in front of you and say hey you know you you, you can I mean look look at your friends there they've got to this point you you can definitely get there you just got to figure out the right uh, mechanic for it and uh, it's just the way the controls are and everything like that it's very smooth and uh, this works really well so there is a, uh, a garage, if you see here at the bottom, and all that really is is just um, customizing your biker, so just to give them a little bit different uh, of a look, 
and that's more for multiplayer than anything else. Um, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not really too. Uh, Uh, I've never really been too into customizing a character to the point where, you know, uh, I could I could end up getting a million dollars and never having b bought anything, but uh, for those that actually want to customize your guy, things like that, that's, that is there. Uh, let's, just for, just for craps, let's go ahead and uh, show off this multiplayer mode. So the interesting thing with the multiplayer mode is that, um, what you end up getting is, um, just find race. And uh, eh, no, I don't. I don't think this is gonna go because I think this will take too long. From what I remember with the uh, with the multiplayer, what ends up happening is that uh, it's a seven seven race heat, and at the end of seven races, or however many that you make, because there's there's ways to make the, make the game. Uh, actually, I think I can. Create. Yeah, if I create a race here, we'll take a look at this. Um, so you get heats per race. And um, so if you look on the left there, it says total races, six. Um, so if you just do one heat per race, then you're going to do six. You're going to do these six uh, levels on the left there. And then at the end of those, at the end of each race, you get a point value. And um, that point value is dependent on if you finish the race first, if you uh, crashed, things like that. But it all happens at the sa on the same level, so that's where the Excite Bike feel get comes in, because everybody has their own lane, and that lane is based on um, whatever starting position you're in. So if you're first going into the first race, you'll be on the first, you know, uh, the first lane. So. Uh, one of the interesting things too is uh, I, I have highlighted here bailout finish. I've actually seen a video of a friend who won a race by uh, it was very it was really close it was really close coming down to the wire. And what the person ended up doing was flipping their bike, starting to flip their bike forward. They bailed out, and what what that means is that you can actually just take your guy and fling him off of your bike. And when he did that, he ended up winning because uh, the body actually got ahead of the the racer. So that's um, that's what bailout finish means, is that you, you don't actually have to have your bike cross the finish line, you can actually have your body cross the finish line, and if you're ahead of anybody, then that, uh, that counts as, as a win for you, so, uh, actually, oh yeah, okay, so two players are required. Um, that is pretty much, in a nutshell, uh, Trials. Uh, Go ahead and take a look at the track editor here. So they do have two uh, two things here: a light editor and a pro editor. The light editor is pretty much uh, pretty much what you would what you would think. It's just it gives you the very basic um, setups. So you get that. So there you go. So now your track is a start and finish. add in, you know, you add in uh, things, you can add in uh, fireworks and uh, environments, things like that. Um, let's just do this really quick here. Whoa. Okay, so we got Lump Island here. So, um, yeah, and it gives you a uh, complexity meter up in the up in the upper left there. Uh, it's you know, it's 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 a level editor for Trials HD. Um, it is uh, it's it's pretty pretty interesting. Uh, I don't really have enough. I haven't messed around with it enough to um, exactly to, 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 to do it justice. But it does have the ability. You do have the ability to make tracks. There are some. Um, Tracks already online. And people, you can post it. And what you know, you get the uh, the most downloaded this week. And we'll just oh, foosball. Let's try that. That seems interesting. 
it just like that too. You're, you're not waiting forever to, um, to download the tracks. It, it, they are very, very quickly downloadable. Use the left and right stick to control the player's first to five. Oh, this is hilarious. Uh, I am not exactly sure how they, how this was created, but this is hilarious. So obviously the editor has all kinds of different, um, and I just scared myself. Alright, we'll quit that. But uh, obviously the editor has more things to it than just being able to, to run regular dirt, tra uh, dirt bike racing tracks. Like I said, it's an interesting, uh, it's an interesting game. Uh, the, the editor adds so much replayability to it. Uh, the fact that there's the um, you get uh, the leaderboards with your friends, uh, and then the skill. You know, there's more than j just the regular. Um, uh, more than just. I oh, even trying to say. I'm sorry, guys. I'm having kind of a brain fart here. Uh, there's more th than just. Um, more than just tracks, more than just obstacles. There's a lot of different things that are going on with the game. Um, it's it's something that I can see playing for for a while. Uh, the multiplayer aspects of it, um, the the adding that into the to the game did, does wonders for it. Uh, I mean, there's there's nothing that I see really wrong, except for maybe the fact that um, when you're doing the single player, your objective is to get medals in order to unlock the next level of um, tracks. But they don't ever really tell you what the goals are to get to the medals. Like, as you saw when I was playing the game, uh, I got bronze, I got silver, I got, I got gold. But there's no real indicator of exactly what you need to get that while you're racing. So you don't really know what you're shooting for. Um, you basically just figure you don't want to crash and you got to go as fast as you can. So uh, that's about the only thing you have to go on. But other than that, I mean, the, game's, the game is solid. The controls are perfect. Um, you start doing some crazy stuff. You're doing backflips off of jumps and things like that. It's just, it's off the wall. So, 1,200 points on XBLA. Go ahead, check it out. Uh, and that, that, that'll be the game that we looked at today. Uh, now, the one thing I did want to talk about, uh, I have mentioned before that I was doing some changes with uh, how the show is, is formatted and things like that. When I first started this show, I was going to strictly look at just indie games. And uh, there wasn't going to be really reviews or anything like that. I was going to be looking at the indie game uh, genre or the indie game uh, culture in general, things like that. Uh, but to be honest, uh, that that that's pretty. Uh, I don't know exactly know how to say it. Basically, I'm I have been doing reviews without actually saying that I'm doing reviews. So what I'm just going to say right now is. What I'll be doing is reviewing games, um, but I won't be giving them an, you know, I won't be giving them a score or anything like that. I'll just be bringing up games that I find interesting or that um, have uh, just games that, that have been released within that within the week and uh, talking about them. They might be good, they might be bad, things like that. So that's where I'm going to be focusing on. It's not going to be strictly indie games, um, although more often than not, that's where I'll look at because you can get your AAA reviews anywhere else. Um, at any of the other sites, I, I want to kind of concentrate more on um, more abstract, more games that, that maybe you, maybe people haven't really heard of or anything like that. So, with that being said, uh, that's going to do it for episode 16 of Captain the Monos Indie Corner. I'd like to thank anybody that joined in with the live stream, and uh, just to remind everybody, I do have a YouTube channel uh, where all these shows get archived. It's uh, Captain the Monos. You'll see it on the splash screen here. And with that. Get the music going, and we will see you guys later. See you next week. Actually, yeah, see you next week. See you maybe later on today for some Diablo 3 beta action. Um, but for sure, next week, Friday, at the regular time, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we'll see you.